If it weren't for America, France would be speaking German, sir. If it weren't for France, America wouldn't be a country. Just a little daily reminder, it's very easy to forget. A lot of you guys forget. And to think we didn't even help them at all during their revolution, like a couple years later. Some scary ape sweating through its skin. A deer running for its freaking life until its heart gives out. <laughs> Literally for days sometimes. Four days. We really were like the monster from It Follows. You ever seen that movie, It Follows? I kind of want to see if I have the cardio for that for one day. Just continue to track a deer running after it for like days until I can get close enough to stab the United States signing treaties with the Native Americans. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Would any of you guys like to visit Oklahoma? No, your band sucks. You're gonna fail like a Zeppelin made out of lead. Thanks for the band name, bro. Is that literally how they, that's how they came up with it, huh? Basically, they took the name in October 1968, which stemmed from a humorous conversation among several musicians about their chances of going down like a lead balloon. That's such a great way to start because they literally had zero expectation. Average temperature of Hiroshima through the 40s, 1940. 40, 41, 42, 43, 40, 45, huh, 500 degrees Celsius? What happened? We may never know. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. U.S. Army Draft. Oh, frick. I kind of wonder, did they know what front they'd be sent to? And is there a better one or like a more likely one you'll survive? I would assume that being sent to the Pacific was better. Oh my goodness, that's, yeah, that's way better. Nearly twice as bad over in the East. So yeah, if I knew that if I was being sent to Europe, then I'm... A Canadian from today forward. That joke actually doesn't work because Canada was sent to though. Mexico sounds good though. Heaven to most versus heaven in ancient Egyptian mythology. Just like farmlands. That shit looks really peaceful. I'm not gonna lie. As an Egyptian, the moment you get oofed and this is the first thing you see. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. I've got the clothes from every career I've ever had. You committed crimes in Bosnia? You haven't? <laughs> Girl, you need to treat yourself better. I'm just so glad Barbie's still teaching us about history. Greek philosophy in a nutshell. Why, 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 oh, that's why. This has now just sent me down a rabbit hole. How does one become? A philosopher. It seems like a pretty short list and really don't you just gotta ask a bunch of questions? Germany signing treaties in the 30s. Kind of depressing that Neville Chamberlain didn't understand this facial expression at all. He just went back home and said hey there's gonna be peace. Belgium in Europe. Belgium in the Congo when the Belgians are sus. France preparing for the invasion. Did you fortify your border Belgium? What for? Oh that's right. No no Germans. Sadly France did everything they needed to do. They fortified their borders, but um, since somebody kind of dropped the ball, th they both were screwed. Germany, after starting Operation Barbarossa, Hilter thinking the USSR would surrender, German generals believing it would be easy, German logistics staff saying this is a bad idea. Japan, after attacking Pearl Harbor, Tojo thinking USA would surrender, Japanese generals believing the war would be easy, Japan logistics staff saying this is a bad idea. So what did we all learn? Apparently, don't listen to the logistics staff, they're just really pessimistic. A country's leader having sex, CIA, this is going in my cringe compilation. <laughs> Imagine if it was that though. This would be a little bit better, but I see what you're doing. But what shall we call this newfound land? How about newfound land? Nah, that's freaking stupid. Yeah, well freak you, John. We're using it. And to this day, what is up with that part of the world, man? You got Newfoundland, and then there's Greenland that's not green, and Iceland that's not ice. This one isn't quite as bad, but just to call something Prince Edward Island. Come on now, why? Why not just call it like Edward Island or Prince Island? Strategy for Blitzkrieg. 2D animation. Top comment. What are you doing, Step Germany? I guess France and Poland kind of got stuck in the dryer then. Well, a lot of countries got stuck in the dryer then if we if we use in this metaphor. Some prosecutor. Why did you commit these unspeakable acts? The criminal, the man with the mustache, told me to. Well, I mean, yeah, and that has historically been going on for a really long time. They must have picked up that strategy from the Mongolians too. When you look up Britain versus Ireland, expecting to see sports memes. Oh, why is there just a video of a car? And now someone's getting into the car? Iceland, naming their cities. Not seen this one before. I've seen Polish people naming their kids, but Iceland naming their cities, I guess that works too. Aren't Welsh cities pretty crazy also? Yep, I'd say so. I think they legitimately were just sitting on a keyboard. No, no, America, we are a source of cotton which powers your textile industry. Please help us. UK just blankly staring. USA in the background, ah, avenge me. I probably won't. It's still so surprising to me that they weren't able to get a single ally. They had like four years. They tried, they tried really hard. <laughs> French have almost impenetrable borders. Germans, peanut butter and crack sandwich. <laughs> 
That's all we need, and we can take over all of Europe. Almost, almost the world as well. That crack went a long way. In 1994, a 74-year-old man, unable to get a driver's license, drove 240 miles on a 1966 John Deere lawnmower to visit his brother, who recently had a stroke. Top speed of five miles per hour took him six weeks. I am speed. Oh my God, is this the American hillbilly version of Harold? He looks just like him. You can see it in the eyes. And now I finally understand. If I was only going five miles an hour and it took me six weeks, I'd be like this too. I was a David Lynch movie about it. What the f what are the chances? He actually had a different tractor that broke down 25 miles into it. Then he purchased a well-maintained 1966 John Deere. That makes it even better. He also didn't have a driver's license because his eyesight was deteriorating, so he was like legally blind. We're lucky he was only going five miles an hour then. Vikings, if they saw the flags of the Nordic countries today. Just imagine big scary Vikings breaking down crying. No more Valhelm for them, I guess. Basically, they weren't really big fans of crosses, one would say. History documentary starter pack with the latest technology. Intense music. Low budget reenactments. Must use the word uncover. Scanning random stuff. Repeat same information throughout. Dramatic voiceover. Always transition with a flash. Stuff hurts. It stuff hurts. I find myself going back and watching the old like 1940s documentaries than some of the newer ones. That Blitzkrieg video with the step bro comment is really great actually. King Louis won't frick his wife. The French people wouldn't that make you <laughs> not like women? I mean, weren't there people in the room watching like they, they wanted to watch? So I don't know. Maybe that had something to do with it. Oh no, I'm having a stroke. Panic. Let me just call my doctors. Calm. Oh no, I oofed all my doctors. Panic. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. But not for me. Dies. I saved all the books from the Library of Alexandria. Now let's end every conflict on Earth. There's conflict on Earth? I mean, okay. I'm pretty sure they're on like Mars or Jupiter by now because they're just so technologically advanced. I don't even know what's going on on Earth. This guy named John, fourth Earl of Sandwich. A piece of meat between two slices of bread. Broke college students? Just wait until the Duke of Ron and introduces what he's got for him. Europe with Asia, Africa, South America, North America, and Oceania. I just have a whole lot of questions about the Oreos in general. Like, how how did one achieve this? Please don't tell me you licked each one of them off and then put it in a pile like this. POV, it's 600 BC and you just broke your nose. But you live in India and they already know plastic surgery. Tunic, tunic noises intensifies. UK and France battling it out for the city. Oh no, is that Prussia? The Doge returns this time the USA and USA are coming to crush everyone from Europe. What a crazy anime we've been living in. Are you going to sleep? Yes. Now shut up. While Egyptians were building the pyramids, woolly mammoths still roamed the earth. I thought the last mammoth was like 10,000 years ago. Ah, a very small population survived in Alaska up until about 4,000 BC. There's evidence that says that they survived on American mainland up until 10,000 years ago, but the last ones were around for a couple thousand years after. Oh, and then yeah, then, then pyramids were built around that time. That's not, okay, that's not that crazy. The last one ended up making it not even that long ago. Man, we could have been chilling with mammoths right now. Could have had a pet mammoth, but y'all ah. that up. Hilter, can I get some territory from Czechoslovakia? Allies, only a glass full. Hilter busting out the big old glasses. Let's go. Yeah, he's gonna be having fun with that. I've got the clothes from every career I've ever had. You've been a tree. You haven't. Just don't play fortunate son around her. She's still a little traumatized by that song, but ultimately not that traumatized, right? Because, I mean, she ended up winning. We lost something. Western Rome collapsing as Eastern Rome continues on. Not to worry, we are still flying half of Rome. And you know what? That's just fine. Byzantium did their thing. Things were actually going okay, kind of. Imperialist American pigs should go home. My name is Ho Chi Minh. Welcome to my TED Talk. Ah, uh, TED Talk. Why does he get away with dad jokes? I want to get away with that. When your nation gets invaded, its artifacts stolen and your resources exploited. But you get civilized in the process. What can I say except you're welcome. Thanks, UK. League of Nations with the Geneva Conventions. First up, no R word. Japanese Empire, wh what? This actually seems like an interesting scene. This seems like an anime I'd like to investigate. Uh, for research purposes, can I get that name? When you lose your navy just because Britain and Russia stop talking to each other, angry Danish noises. Funny, cause it looks like there's Swedish flags in the hair. I guess this is referring back to the Napoleonic era. I didn't, I didn't know. Napalm. 
Americans during v Oh, yeah, you don't have to look happy when you do it. That's the weird part. USA places missiles in Turkey. I am America, number one superpower in the world, uses the finest ballistic missiles and weapons. USSR places missiles in Cuba. I am the Soviet Union, the actual number one superpower in the world, users the strongest and finest. Yeah, America's gonna get really offended and just completely forget what they did themselves. When you're studying the 1940s in high school, but the teacher doesn't ask you to write a 3K word essay explaining why it's impossible to determine which battle tank was the best. Years of the academy wasted. Also, your reaction when your teacher doesn't ask you how Germany could have won. Neil Armstrong retiring from NASA, becoming a professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Cincinnati. Buzz Aldrin retiring from NASA, becoming a commander of test pilot school, quitting the Air Force, starting to drink, having an affair, suffering depression, getting divorced, getting married again. <laughs> <laughs> this is not right. I've always wondered why Buzz Aldrin seems to be in the news a lot more than Neil Armstrong. Well, Buzz is still around, so that's part of it. Damn, he's 91. 300 Spartans being held up by popular media. We all have heard about this, the 7,000 Greeks that were also there helping. But then there's this. The Persians who built their empire over a century overcame logistics and financial challenges to raise and invade Greece with a 70,000 strong army. That is a good point. Nobody gives them credit for that. They had a massive empire. So what? They got showed up in one battle. It happens. Dang, I never thought about it like that, though. POV, you are a Troy inhabitant, and the Greeks give you a giant wooden horse. Nothing suspicious about it. No need to be alarmed. Well, damn, if they gave me a wooden horse that looked like this, that was all painted nicely, and it looked super badass, yeah, I'd definitely not worry about it. That's cool. We're bringing it inside. The problem is, it didn't even look that good. What am I gonna do? Just slap it right here in the middle of the courtyard? No. I'm not bringing this crap inside. Hey, look. Germany has a new ship. It's huge. Our ships can't damage it. It just sunk the HMS hood. T people screaming internally. You'll be fine. It's gonna sink pretty soon anyways. What fashion companies try to sell men? What men actually want? Why can't we throw back to like a hundred years ago though? I mean, we throw back to things in fashion, but it's never like that far back. This looks great. I'd rock this at a party. What's your name? Louis. You're hired. Kingdom of France. That's all. That's all. It's all purely based on name. Had to keep up that Louis streak. It's a Hindu and Buddhist symbol that represents goodness and well-being. Cool. The year is 1932, and Jerry was nearly 50 years away from the invention of laser tattoo removal. Ooh, that's not gonna go well. This makes me think of all the people that have either sort of Hindu-inspired tattoos now or things with different languages on it. How do we know that stuff's not gonna be canceled, like, pretty soon? You don't even know what it says right now. Napoleon escaped from Elba. Panic. He's just with 600 soldiers. Calm. It's Napoleon with 600 soldiers. Yeah, that's the that's the part. It's kind of the problem. Maybe put him in Russia next time. He struggles there. Okay, this massive thing. Uh, do you think maybe he's compensating for something? That is exactly the joke I was going to make about the Bismarck, but I, I decided not. Germany in March 1939. Guten Tag. I'm taking over Prague. I just love seeing this comeback. I love this meme. Promise you won't cry? I promise. The Byzantine crown jewels were pawned to Venice because Empress of Savoy needed money. Later Byzantine emperors tried to get them back but never succeeded. They stayed in Venice for 454 years until soldiers looted the Venetian treasury and melted the crown to for its gold. Yeah, I tried just to ignore the parts of history that hurt. There's a lot of it that hurts, though. Once again, my subreddit just taking over. It's actually starting to get a little out of control. The German language family. Denmark, the Netherlands, Germany, Sweden. All say Anna's. A Anna, 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 Anna's? UK says pineapple. Then they say this. UK says gloves. This. No. Tortoise. Silence. I, I swear, I'm Germanic. Yeah, there's one odd one in the group here. I don't know who it could be, though. The fact that each ball is in, like, uh, 240 quality makes this easy even better. Poland, can I join NATO? USSR, we have NATO at home. <laughs> NATO at home. <laughs> big difference there. That is the perfect representation of this. NATO at home, basically. As always, big thanks to the patrons. I'm about a nut. Zephy. Thick Boy 3000. The Glen Council. Bowling like Stalin. Stormtrooper 501. Scotty from Marketing. Patrick C. Palantino 1013. Manny Manny 74. Mac. M203 Brush. Luxembourg Lover. Fusion Wolf. Epi Nick. Elijah Senpai. Dalton D. Aryan After Hours. Annie Key. And Aaron F. 